They're from Natchez, and they're going to be the biggest band in the world. I saw them for the first time at the first crawfish boil in May of 2018, and I thought, man, I have just got to write about these guys. I need to write about them. Now, I hadn't written anything in about 30 years. I'm, I'm a boomer, and uh, I'd been a high school teacher and done a lot of different stuff, but I'd put down my pen, and uh, these guys made me pick it back up. And I'm kind of like the 62-year-old version of that kid in the movie, Almost Famous, you know? That's a great movie. Yeah, and uh, so I always thought maybe I should write a follow-up to that the 62 year old version of that that could have a lot of comic possibilities but anyways these guys got me started writing uh rock and roll music uh articles and and other kind blues and and all kinds of stuff and i've talked to a lot of interesting musicians and bands and, and i owe it all of these natchez boys i love to say that music is powerful stuff say it three or four times a day and that's a testament to it right there music lights a fire under you it, it could heal i like to say music is like a time machine instantly transports you back into another place a good place or a bad place you know you have roots around here but you grew up in california yeah i'm a little schizophrenic i i grew up on the left coast in san diego california uh but i have deep roots in uh, adams county that go back 200 plus years didn't come to natchez for the first time until 1993 but i knew that i had some kind of family history here well hell it turned out i was related to about half the town so (laughs) I came home. I lived out here for five years from about 2005 to 2010. I live down in St. Francisville now. And, uh, you know, this has just become home. So uh, I did go to college in the South. I went to UNC Chapel Hill. So I'm equally at home in in the South or out on the West Coast. I prefer the lack of humidity on the West Coast. But, man, you can't beat the music and the culture down here. Amen. You know, what you were saying about music, Brandon, the thing is it has the power to bring us together. It does. And I use it to to heal partisan divides, which are so deep these days, to find commonalities rather than differences that that keep us apart and divide us. And there's so much great music coming out, particularly in this area today. We've got some terrific musicians. Who are some of your favorites? My first rock and roll concert was uh, November 1969 at the San Diego Sports Arena, same building that the kid went to his concert in in the movie. And it was Creedence Clearwater Revival. Man, I just dug those guys. I was 11 years old. Mom took me out and bought me a brand new pair of bell bottoms. And she brought me and my two friends to the concert. Immediately, the guys in front of us fired up a joint. So I think she was pretty well traumatized by the whole I'm concert. So, I'm sorry, a what? I, I, a... <laughs> A adult cigarette. Oh, okay. I've heard of those. Oh, a Willie Nelson cigarette. Right, well, there you go. That's how we refer to it, right? All right. I got to learn the lingo in, in country radio. So, uh, but I just dug those guys and I listened to them and they fired my imagination about the South. Uh, I loved maps as a kid growing up and I used to listen to Credence and I'd pull out the National Geographic Atlas and I just studied the South. And I focused on Louisiana when I, you know, I just loved the map of Louisiana. I loved all those those empty spaces with these exotic names. And little did I know that my DNA resided in, in those very places. I have a, a blog, and it's called C-O-T-D-A-M, Cot Dam. You can say that. That's all a- right. Okay. And it's uh, it, there's a Facebook page for it. It's a Facebook group. And I also have uh, www.cotdam.com. It's a collection of my music writings and some other stuff. It's pretty entertaining. And come on. I know you had to reschedule your next interview. Yeah, Who I've got a, an really interview cool. coming up with Devin Allman of the Allman Betts Band. And I saw those boys uh, over at the Balloon Festival in October. And they were just fantastic. Yeah, I need uh, to be playing them on my show. Well, they're going to be playing down at the Manship in Baton Rouge. They'll also be up in Jackson at Dueling Hall. This is April 29th and May 7th, I think. So, If you could buy one song for everybody on Spotify, what would you want them to hear today? Whoa, that's a tough one. Well, that's what I do here. I'll tell you what. You know, I don't have a huge background in country music, but I found a couple of bands that really kind of merge country and rock and roll together. Mm-hmm. Uh, there's one that I love called the Steel Woods. Uh, they wrote a song called Southern Accents that the Almond Betts Band also also covers. We'll go with that one. If- All right, Tom, thank you so much for stopping by. And I want to visit with you a little bit more and uh, maybe get a little more info from you. I'm going to share some stuff with Tom on my YouTube channel, The Gator Man Show on YouTube. If you haven't subscribed yet, you need to go do that. And of course, you should be following me on Facebook, 104.7 The Gator and Brandon McCraney. And now you got a new one to go check out, Cot Dam on Facebook. That's, that rolls off the tongue kind of nice. <laughs> All right, it's The Gator Man Show. Been hanging out with Tom Scarborough. Thank you, brother. Thank you, Brandon.